All right, we are on our way to go chopping. We've been chopping a few rounds off of an alfalfa field out there back by Wilson's Garden. But it really hasn't been nice enough weather to be filming much lately. It's sunny. Yeah. Can't see. All right. We just got a bunch of rain dumped on us too in the last day or two. There was one time last night during chores where all of a sudden it was just pouring. We got about half an inch in probably 10 minutes. So it was pretty dry before then. And yeah, so now it's muddy again. It's not too bad though.
Okay, so that was pretty self-explanatory. All we did was hook the tractor up to the chopper, put the wagon on the back of the chopper, and then we just took one round around this field that was enough to fill the wagon, because this alfalfa is getting really tall. Once we get a good weather window here, we're gonna have to cut all of these fields over here. We got two new seedings of alfalfa that are also really tall. So we'll be doing a lot of cutting hay, bailing once we get the weather window very soon here. And then now all we're gonna do is come back around and then we're gonna park it right in this field right across the cow's lane in the pasture for them to eat on overnight. We found this as an alternative to just feeding round bales in their feeder overnight because they can graze throughout the day, but to fill them up faster before they go to sleep, we give them a wagon a green chop. Since we've been putting the cows out, we fed up the last couple of round bales that we made last year out overnight, and then we've been chopping in this field ever since then. park in a spot that's not muddy yet. If you've never seen this before, we've got this string that's attached around the around the shaft here, and this string goes all the way back up to where the hitch is, and this is attached to a tab on it, which basically, the hitch is like this. When I pull the tab, it opens up like that, and it just drops the pin in the wagon, just like that. Except I'm not working with a latch pin or anything, so I gotta go pick up the pin so we don't lose it, and then I'll chain up this feed wagon hitch as well so the cows don't bury it in the mud. Just sweep off all this stuff right here. Then you get to head home and then we'll put the cows out. Can't forget this. Go ahead and put the string gates up so I don't have to do that when I'm ready to put cows up. This will already be done since I'm up here anyway.
All right, that's all the cows out. Just gotta go ahead and close the gate. There have been times where someone didn't close the gate and cows were in the barn the next morning when everyone woke up and came out to prepare for milking. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.